Hey there, good morning everyone. Thursday the 17th of March 2022. This morning's devotional is a reading from Psalm 102, reading verse 27, which reads, But you remain the same, and your years will never end. Life changes are periods that involve significant change to our lifestyle. You know, some examples of life transitions, they might include the birth of a child, moving house, getting a new job, getting married, maybe even getting divorced, being made redundant, illness, or even the death of a loved one. We are faced with changes every day of our life. We grow older each day, and with that comes a new set of aches and pains. But hey, that doesn't stop us from getting older now, does it, eh? Transitions are difficult, but they do not have to be defeating. They can be scary, yet fun at the same time. And I guess it, once again, it depends on the mindset of the person. Many do not embrace change as it moves them away from the familiar of which they, what they are used to. And God has a way for us to navigate the most difficult transitions of life and in so doing, help others to do so. When we go through a difficult change, we must force our minds to acknowledge that God is in control of every situation. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 reminds us, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. I can't think of a greater encouragement than that. One can think of a trapeze artist here, you know, those guys that hang from the top of a circus tent or a circus building, hanging on a swing and they're swinging along, Merrily, and they need to leave this swing to get to this swing. But in between the two swings, there's nothing. And I hope and pray that there's a safety net there in case that this transition goes south. And so they have to leave that first bar to get to that second bar. As with change, there is always something that we don't know. And what we don't know is a thing that keeps us from the change. I don't think that we can remove fear from transition. But what I know that we can do is that we can lessen our fear and feed our faith. We can also lessen the doubt and fear about the transition when we focus more on the benefits of the change. Some of us are still holding on to that first trapeze bar, swinging back and forth, back and forth, not wanting to let go for fear. And you know that you need to let go, but the fear is keeping you glued to that first bar. My dear friends, take hold of the hand that created everything. Allow him to guide you through the change and know that you will never go through any transition by yourself. God is with you. May the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.